What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here. I got a really cool package, really big package, you can see down there real quick, in the mail uh, from somebody named Dakota who reached out to me on Instagram saying they have a whole bunch of video games that need to be tested. Uh, I think they were getting out of reselling. Uh, I believe it's a he. <laughs> Dakota is a unisex name, right? Um, I, I believe it's, it's a he and he said he's getting out of reselling. He's moving and he wanted to send these to me. So let's open up the box, see if there's any goodies in here to sell on Amazon uh, or eBay, really depending on what we got in here. So I'm going to open up the box. I know it's from him because I, I ripped it open for a split second, saw a couple games. I'm going to finish cutting it open and see what we got. Let's go. All right, let's uh, pop this thing open. Hope we got some goodies in here. Oh, by the way, there's Sophia. Hey, baby. Okay, there is a lot more in here than I even know. I, I saw a couple pictures that he sent to me through Instagram, but definitely not all of this stuff. So let's see. Let's uh, look at this first bundle right here. We got a... Super Smash Bros. on the 3DS. Let's open it up. Whoops. There we go. Okay, cool. This is complete. The cartridge is in a little bit of rough shape, but not too bad. I mean, it should work fine. I will test everything. I know he said uh, he doesn't know if they all work. None of them have been tested, but that seems fine. That is pretty good. Um, hopefully I'm popping prices up on the screen so you guys can see what all of this stuff is worth in the end. Uh, I hope we do well. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. I mean, we can't do poorly because he just shipped me all this stuff for free. Thank you, Dakota. We have a CD, 007, Tomorrow Never Dies. That's interesting. Is it in there? Yeah? Is this a CD? Yeah, weird. Divex. Interesting, okay. I have no idea what this is worth. Pretty cool, though. Uh, we have an audiobook, brand new sealed, L. Ron Hubbard, Final Blackout. Pretty cool. Has an original price of $17.95, so 18 bucks. Not a super expensive one, but hopefully it's still going for some money. A lot of these audiobook CDs, uh, they usually have really high ranks on Amazon, so that's kind of what I'm expecting with that, but who knows. We have uh, Rugrats in Paris the movie for PlayStation 1, and there's another down here. Uh, Activision Classic Games. Okay, these ones are probably going to be really scratched. Yeah, you can see all those scratches on there. It's really not that bad. It looks worse on the camera. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's about the same. It's not horrible. These PlayStation 1 games can take a big beating and still work pretty well. So, cool. I'm okay with that. Of course, I'll test them. I got a few systems set up. We got a PS4, Xbox One, PS2 set up. That PS2 can play PS1 games, so should be able to test those fine. And that Xbox One can play a good amount of 360 games. Let's see what else we got here. Siphon filter for the PlayStation 1. Pretty neat. Uh, I don't think it's a super valuable game, but good to have. NFL Game Day 2002. I know this isn't worth anything, but I'll probably keep this and play it. Oh, here's a really good one. At least I think it is. Resident Evil Survivor. I've never heard of this. Oh, wow. that That looks mint. There's no scratches on that one at all. And it's complete. It's very clean. You can see there's a little crack on the case up there. Let's see if we could show you that. There you go. You can kind of see the crack in the case up there. That's really no big deal. A lot of the PlayStation 1 cases are just CD cases. So I have a whole bunch of brand new CD cases. If this is worth like a lot of money, what I'll do is just put it in a brand new case and then put it in a poly bag so it stays protected. And yeah, you can see there's a few scratches on the front of the case, but those we can change with a new case. Should be nice. Hopefully this is worth some good money. Land Before Time, Return to the Great Valley. I didn't even know they made a Land Before Time game. This is pretty cool. Let's see the condition of this one real quick. Yeah, see, now that one's pretty scratched. But again, the PlayStation 1 games shouldn't have too big of a, too big of a problem. Okay, cool. So that first bubble wrap bundle is done. So if it's asleep. Look at that stain. Soph threw up on the ground like a month ago and I can't get it out of the rug. <laughs> That's you. That's what you do. Again, I just want to say thank you to Dakota because this is awesome so far. So far, what I'm seeing, pretty good stuff. The condition doesn't seem to be too bad, but we've just started. There's still a good amount of stuff to dig through, so let's keep going. 
Quick interjection, guys. This video is sponsored by Thrift School T-shirts, my own T-shirts. Look at how beautiful and pretty this T-shirt is. They are all numbered up to 100. Once all 100 are sold, they are gone for good. The link is down below in the description. Thanks, guys. All right, which bundle should we go through? It's like a bunch of little mystery bundles. This is kind of cool. We'll do this one right here since it's already pretty much open. Uh, what do we got? Oh, a PC game. It's brand new sealed though. Uh, Drakensang? Never heard of that. The River of Time RPG pack. This is kind of cool. Uh, these usually aren't worth anything, but this might be one. It, it, it might be. I don't really know too much about PC games. Here we go. Star Wars Clone Wars. Pretty cool. PlayStation 2. And it is complete. And the disc... I mean, that's that's a clean disc. There's a few scratches on it, but that is a very clean disc. What, you gotta go outside? I'm gonna let her outside real quick. There you go. Good girl, go enjoy it. All right, so pretty cool with that one right there. Let's see, what else do we have here? This looks like, oh no. Oh, Kingdom Hearts, the first Kingdom Hearts game. Awesome, again, complete. Oh, the case is broken. There's some, uh, Broken plastic in there, no big deal. And the disc, super clean, no scratches on that. So these discs are in pretty good condition, Dakota. <laughs> Thank you for sending them to me. Um, again, not a super valuable game, but could be worth a little bit on Amazon. Medal of Honor Warfighter Project Honor Edition. Okay, um, I believe this is back on the 360 and PS3 era when some uh, multiplayer games needed a code to play online. So, and you had to pay extra for buying a used game. So that was kind of a pain in the butt. I don't think this is worth anything, but a cool game to have nonetheless for campaign. And then the last one in here is Devil May Cry 4 for the Xbox 360. All right. Oh, that one's pretty scratched. Now, you can't really tell. You can see my ceiling. You can see my fan up there and my lights. <laughs> but uh, you can't tell. It's a, it's a little scratched. All right, next bundle. We'll get rid of those. And then we will... Oh, here's a little baby bundle. Looks like it's just one disc in here. Let's open that up. Here we go. Final Fantasy Tactics. Awesome game right here. PlayStation 1. Uh, it does have a ring around it. I'm sure you guys can see that scratch. That's the full ring around the disc. And that could probably be buffed out with my disc cleaner and it should work fine. I use a JFJ Easy Pro disc cleaner. I do have a link for it down below in my description. I use it to clean video games, CDs, DVDs. I, I get comments all the time asking what kind of disc cleaner I use and uh, that's what I use and it works really well and I'm able to save a lot of games. It's not super cheap, but it's, it's affordable. It, I don't know the exact price. It's like $300 or something like that. Uh, definitely something that you might want to invest in. All right, what do we have here? So this is sealed, but that's definitely a reseal. That's not a legit seal on here. Unreal Championship for the Xbox. At least I believe it's a reseal. I'm going to have to look it up on eBay to see what new ones look like. I don't think it should have any of this excess on here. Still pretty cool. Oh, this is a great one. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein for the Xbox 360. There it is. It looks pretty clean. So there's multiple Wolfenstein games and this version right here. Keep an eye out. The one with the little uh, skeleton skull guy on the front. This one's pretty valuable. I, I know that for a fact. So great game to have right there. Saints Row Gat Out of Hell for the Xbox 360. Disc only. Uh, pretty scratched, but hopefully we could clean it up. Pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the Xbox 360. I believe this has been going up in value recently. I know number two has been. I believe number three has been also. So pretty neat find to have there. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And the last one, Full Spectrum Warrior on original Xbox. Now, I don't believe this is a valuable game at all, but still pretty cool. Okay, let's move on to the next bundle. We'll... Uh, Open this one. I like the blue stuff. Let's open up the blue stuff. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Star Wars, the Force, Force Unleashed 2. Neat. 
Neat, very cool. Uh, I believe this is worth a little bit of money, maybe 10 bucks or so. Uh, not bad. Ghost Recon Future Soldier. I don't know about this. This is kind of funny. These, these are a lot of games that I don't normally pick up because at thrift stores, when you're paying, you know, three, four, five dollars for a game, it's not really worth it. But when you're getting them for free, a lot of things all of a sudden become worth it because when you're spending five, if you're only going to make five, it's not worth it, right? But if you're spending zero and you can make five bucks, well, all of a sudden it's worth it. So hopefully we have a lot of little, uh, little profits that add up here. Great game right here, Condemned to Bloodshot. I know this is worth some money. My battery had died on me, so uh, <laughs> I know I was talking about Condemned 2. Oh no, the second battery is really low as well. Uh, we'll just pop the price up. I know this is pretty valuable. Uh, maybe not extremely valuable, but definitely a good game to look out for. Uh, it's a shame it's disc only, but that's all right. Uh, since this battery is about to die, we're going to have... All right, we are back an hour later. <laughs> My camera battery died twice. I know I popped the price up for that Condemned 2, so let's keep going. We got Watch Dogs on the Xbox 360. Uh, I know for a fact this isn't worth anything, but there's a little Walmart edition up there with a little character skin. I'm sure that's already been used, so that's probably just a regular Watch Dogs game. We have Deus Ex Human Revolution. I don't believe that's worth anything as well, but not bad. And with these games that end up not being worth anything, guys, I'm just going to bundle together probably and sell as a lot on eBay just to offload them as fast as possible. Oh, we have an Xbox One game. Interesting. T uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And no scratches, just a little fingerprint smudge up there. Nice. All right, that's sweet. That, of course, will be tested in the Xbox. We have Metro Last Light. And it's complete. Very cool. With an old receipt. It looks like somebody bought it at Game Exchange with uh, the other two games. Oh, they got Metro Last Light for free. Pretty cool. All right. Close that up. Prototype 2. Now, this might be worth something. I don't think they haven't remade this game. I remember this game back in the day. Uh, pretty fun game. It's pretty clean. All right, hopefully it's worth something. Again, you guys are seeing the prices uh, as I edit, so I don't know all of these prices off the top of my head. Video game prices are all over the place lately. Some things are just crazy worth money now that I would have never expected, so you never know. Things jump up in value all the time. Far Cry 4, I don't believe that's worth much. I, I don't know, to be honest. All right, now we are down to the last three. Let's bust this open see what we got all right mass effect 3 uh, i don't believe that's worth anything there's like a remaster trilogy coming out though so maybe there's an increased demand in this not sure the elder scrolls 4 oblivion for the xbox 360 and uh not complete but that's okay we got the original destiny which i know for a fact that's not worth anything uh call of duty black ops the call of duty games tend to hold their value a little bit so that's pretty cool the very first prototype, awesome. Not complete, but that's all right. Metal Gear Rising, okay. That one is complete, pretty cool. All right, just two left, just two little things left. Oh, I see, I saw a decent one in there. Let's bust this one open. All right, Left 4 Dead, not bad. The second Left 4 Dead's worth a pretty good amount of money. I'm not sure about the first, but I'm assuming it's gotta be worth something. Just Cause 2, pretty fun game. Uh, not complete, but still, you know, everything's in here. None, none of these cases are empty, so that is awesome. We have another copy of Metro Last Light for the Xbox 360. Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes. Okay, it's pretty much all Xbox 360 games. Resident Evil 5, very neat, very neat. Yeah, complete. And Assassin's Creed Rogue. Cool. All right. Last package. Let's go. Hopefully there's a diamond in here. All right. We busted it open. Let's take a quick look at these. We got Resident Evil 6. Dishonored, the first one. Golden Eye Reloaded 007. I believe this is worth a decent amount of money. Yeah, it's complete. That's really nice. Kingdom Hearts for the PlayStation 2. Oh, very cool and very complete. And Splinter Cell Blacklist. 
awesome 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 lots of great games in here lots that aren't worth an insane amount but again when you bundle them together there's definitely money to be made i'm pretty stoked about this i think i got a good amount of stuff right here and again it was all free so i can't thank you enough dakota thank you so much for hooking me up pretty sweet uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions at all subscribe if you haven't already this is thrift school signing out see ya